They call me Curly Bill Brosis. I'm what you might call the uh, founder of the feast. William Brosius, often known as Curly Bill Brosius, is the antagonist in the 1993 film Tombstone. William Brosius is a renowned outlaw who eventually established his own criminal organization named the Cowboys, earning himself the name Curly Bill Brosius, a violent bandit who plainly enjoys his life of crime. He will not hesitate to kill anyone who opposes him based on his reputation. <laughs> on one occasion, while visiting a bar, he met Wyatt Earp for the first time. Wyatt Earp, huh? And Ike Clanton, one of Curly Bill's men, described Wyatt Earp as I'm Mr. Kansas Law Dog. Law don't go around here. After visiting an opium house one night, Curly Bill wanders aimlessly across the town while shooting. <laughs> Marshall White tells him to surrender his weapon. Hand him over. In reaction, Curly Bill shoot the Marshall with a gun. <laughs> Wyatt Earp takes him into custody forcibly. Curly Bill's henchman, Ike Clanton, and the other cowboys are enraged by the capture of their leader and threaten Wyatt, his brothers, and Doc Holliday. Your friends might get me in a rush, but not before I make your head into a canoe. Curly Bill is put on trial but is acquitted due to a lack of witnesses. Well, you can't have a murder without a witness. As Wyatt Earp finally begins helping the townsfolk rid itself of the cowboys, he becomes an instant foe of Curly Bill. Bye. The cowboys are spreading trouble in the region with random acts of violence, and they ultimately collide with Doc Holliday and the Earps, <laughs> resulting in a shootout at the OK Corral. The cowboys attack Wyatt and his crew in a river bank while the conflict continues. Come on, think of something fast, would you? Wyatt wades into the river and engages in a shootout with Curly Bill, killing him. Johnny Ringo, his second in command, takes over as head of the cowboys. William Brocious, Curly Bill, robbery, multiple murders extortion, and attempted takeover. Crime Lord, Curly Bill is portrayed by the late powers Alan Boot. I ain't kidding neither.